Oh yeah, people be like, uh, what's tell people like the Bible says you gotta put faggots to death, or you can't be a faggot. They be like, that's in the Old Testament. That's not in the New Testament. It's like Hebrews 26 and turning the cities and signing the Lord to ashes. Oh, that's it. That's in the New Testament, ain't it? Right. Well, okay. Why, why did the Lord destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? They, they, they was trying to have sex with angels. Well, I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep the point that he's just saying. Okay. They turned the cities into Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, condemned them with an overflow, making them an example to those after should they know God. Right. Because he's saying, as an example, he, don't be a faggot. And that's he, why this is given to the world. You know, for you to learn from past bad examples. Yeah. Not to not be encouraged by it. <laughs> Shit. America got like every major city in America is a Sodom and a Gomorrah, you know? Every one of them. And they turn all their ally cities into the same shit too. Yep. And then they send their group up there. What's called a representative to go to different countries? Ambassadors? Ambassadors. Yeah. Why? That's why they were over there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like what they did to Saudi Arabia right now. They're trying to have a women's liberation movement. Yeah, slowly going. Yeah. Slowly as hell. One of the last places that you would never thought that would happen. Man, this devil is trying to conquer the whole earth. Well, Ishmael got to play the world too. He probably promised him some more riches or power or weapons, you yeah. know? Yeah. He's see, like... You hear Israel selling them secrets of nukes now. I believe it. Some because Israel, the state of we gotta call that's the state of Edom. <laughs> they, them, them devils. They, it's been known that they, they're the number one uh, uh, people spying on the United States. They got all, all the government. All the state of Israel, the state of Edom, was the real name. They know all the United States secrets. They got it. Well, they're the ones running this shit. Like you said, they're behind everything. They're behind everything. They're the number one computer hackers in the world. They always want to blame that shit on everybody else. I, oh, sorry. I think even thinking, you know, SanDisk, I believe, is based in Israel. They make them uh, SD cards and all that. Go ahead. I believe so. Jude 1 and 12. These are spots in your feast of charity when they feast, they feast with you, feeding themselves with foul fear. Yeah, feeding themselves with foul fear like people are just eating, you know? Yeah. See, uh, and also spiritual too, eating uh, uh, the foul bread, like uh, like different dishes and shit. That's even worse in the room. Yeah. It's both bad. Like that shit over there. Uh, like, like fucking like 10 plus uh, religions over there just feeding themselves with this bullshit. Without fear, without even like taking, no, I shouldn't do this because this is going to lead to death. They don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Well, Rob, we terrified of the Lord. You know what I mean? We ain't going to be out here like protesting and marching with Muslims. You know what would happen to us if we did that? That would not be good for us. He, the, we would know the Lord would destroy us for that. You see, so I did attack a Farrakhan. Is he? Yeah. Why he turned on Farrakhan now? He's probably just to make some money. Because he ain't making no money unless he starts controversy. That's what that is. Well, shit, Lord willing, Farrakhan will put a hit on his ass. You know? Now they're going to put a hero for the same thing. Probably so. They, they I'm just being optimistic. Right there, I feel you, That's what we want to see. <laughs> I, I, do, I want to see some time like that. I think that nation of Islam, they some gangsters, though. <laughs> they they some gangsters. They, they, they kill Malcolm. Yeah, they kill Malcolm. Who Malcolm? Hey, I bet Malcolm's back in the reincarnation. He probably, you know. Go ahead. Woo. It says, clouds, they are without water, <laughs> carried about to winds. Trees without, it's like a trees whose fruit withereth without fruit. That's crazy. Trees without fruit. This ain't said to it again. Trees whose fruit, yeah. It said trees whose fruit withereth without fruit. Before it even, you know what I'm saying, goes to uh, to, uh, to get fruit, they just wither. Yeah. You know, good for nothing, pieces of shit. You got flies buzzing in the fruit. Yeah. Fruit all rotten. That tree got like infected with a disease and some beetles, done fucked the tree all over. Pick something up. Yeah, they got worms and maggots. I'm full of covered all kind of pesticides. Worms and pesticides. Yeah, this is like the worms. In other words, they're not going to be possible. It says twice dead. You got niggas like, we first came to the 40th 
Now they says he's twice dead. The niggas that came into the truth fell out. And they twice dead. You know what I'm saying? That's that Valley of uh, Dry Bones. What's that? Ezekiel 37? 38. Yeah. It says, says pumped up by the roots. The niggas came into the truth. They, you know, make believe for a minute. And their roots don't even go that deep at all. You yes. know how the tree ain't grown right? Yeah. It's a, a strong wind coming. It just knocked that motherfucking tree right over. It got termites all up in it, you know? Well, I ain't about to that motherfucker again. Let's plug it out. It says, it says, raging waves of the sea forming out there, it's like they're forming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom they preserve the blackness of darkness forever. Alright, they're forming out their own shame. Just to find why they don't come back in. Just to find why they feel out, period. They be like, well, I don't really believe in the camp, so. I heard that a lot. Anyway, as long as I believe. Yeah, it's like, well, the Lord never said to set up camp. I heard a lot of people say that. What about you? The Lord's not just dealing with GMS. Well, we never said that anyway. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, but we never said that. Though. Right, exactly. 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 Because we, we don't get to decide who makes it and who don't make it. You know what I'm saying? We won't be out here if the Lord doesn't put the Spirit on them guys. So well, I'm, we gotta be grateful for that, you know. So going back to sit down at sixteen. It says these are murmurers, complainers. Huh? That's a, these fools. They complain. Oh, they gonna complain about this? You know? Ain't any? They complain about a lot. Why? Why can't I eat pork? I eat what I want. Why I gotta listen to a book? You know? I know God wrote that. They're always trying to justify their wickedness, man. Go ahead. Oh, just like just uh, just like brothers being in the camp. They got that same spirit of court. Where uh back when they wanted to take Moses to job, hey, you know. How you doing? They was mad that Moses was in charge and they was trying to take his spot. And the most high killed him for that. Hey. So just like you got them, who that Nazariah or whatever his name? He wanted he wanted to take Moses' spot, you know? All these other guys, you know, fell out of these camps, and they coming up trying to make a name for themselves. We're not trying to make a name for ourselves. We're trying to make a, we trying to declare the Lord's name. We ain't out here trying to take Moses' spot. Go ahead. It says, it says in their mouth, it's like walking after their own lust, in their mouth speaking great swelling words, having men's persons in aberrations because of advantage. And these people do speak some great swell boy the shit that these people say, the proud shit that come out of these people's mouths, man. All the old time famous ones, oh, God is real strike me down dead now. Hey, that's a, you know, these people ain't got no originality with they shit either, you know? They got the same raggedy ass demons that the next person had on them. They got no power. Y'all's demons got no power. And then they actually think they ain't got demons on them. <laughs> so, so, but beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord and Hashem Mashiach. How that they told you that there should be mockers in the last times who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Yeah, oh yeah, they follow after their own ungodly lust. Yep, yep. You gotta keep your eyes open and be circumspect. Now, everybody out here walks after their own ungodly lusts. Okay, that's what that's what people in America do. They say, oh, you can do whatever you want. You can be a faggot. You can eat pork. No, you can't. That's that's against the scriptures. Is that Bible? There you go. That's what you need, though. Let me get this scripture. That's Satan trying to get us with it. I'll go ahead. It says. Uh, these be they who separate themselves sensual. Well, that's the other word for carnal, you know, just not the feelings. I'm not the spirit. Wait, wait. What does bearing sheep mean to you? What? Bearing sheep. Bearing sheep. Bearing sheep, the first word in the Bible in Hebrew. What does that mean to you? In the 
You did? Yeah, it's the beginning. Right. But Bereshit, that's the first word in the Bible. Right? Right? Yes. Now, you ever read it as a hieroglyph? It's just as it is. It's just, it's just, I bet it's a prefix. It's in. Bereshit is the word beginning. Each letter has a tutorial with its status. That is the house. Bereshit is the head of man. Right. Our left is an oxen, and she is to take the other on the top of the cross. So, bear a sheet, though, it means that the beginning is a powerful thing. The house of the high school is a strong body of the cross. But really, you should just read it as, as it is. I mean, okay, well, bear a sheet, follow it, and then we can follow the time, like your mom's house, so I have a record. Okay, change, I mean. That's why right, that's not like Kabbalah stuff. You're going, that's you know, the first word, that's the first verse in the Bible. Okay, what, hey, what does the Bible say about Egypt, though? Talk about Mishraim? Hey, give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 26 and 6. Oh, wait, what? You say what's up? What does it mean? You say, I just read from the Bible. What's your nationality? I'm a Hebrew Israelite. All right. All right. I'm an Israelite. Ten. Bereshi, Bawa, Elohim, Alatah, Hashemah, Le'alatah. So what, now, what's your point, though, with that? What you trying to say? No, I'm saying, like, all right, as a Hebrew, I'm into Hebrew. If I was the only person up here, what Hebrew information do y'all have? For me? Some Hebrew? Yeah. Yeah. What can y'all show me? I mean, we study Hebrew. We know Hebrew. That's what I'm saying. Show me something in Hebrew. How I push me outside. I mean, we got, we got. I mean, I know your how a wop, your how a shop. I understand that. We know we know about a revelation, like something that. But we out here speaking a language. The scripture said we were speaking a piece of words in a tongue that's not ours. What scripture is that? We can get that. Oh yeah, I think. And uh. But we, we got, you get on our YouTube channel, uh, we make vi uh, Hebrew videos all the time. We got, uh, well, my, my old channel got deleted. I got a new channel called Kings of the Earth. What's the name of your channel? Is, uh, GMS, without re without remedy. His channel is what, Terror from Above. And plus, we got all kind of other channels. You know, but we go we go on to the Hebrew, we can study that. When, when, we, uh, when I'm at home, I read the Hebrew. You know, we always use the Blue Letter Bible. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, we, we use the we use the ancient Hebrew script, not the not that script. Y'all don't read it like this. I mean, that's the. Uh, oh yeah, oh that's the good. Yeah, we use that. Yeah. Huh? Get that from. I'm one like my guy. It's a new book from my Yeah, we, yeah, we writing that. That's what that's the script we use. But we know both scripts though. We use them both because you got to know the other one. Who you talking about? The, uh, the block script. That yeah, the Aramaic or Syrian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you said Giddish. Yeah, yeah. Um, you said you're a Hebrew Israelite, right? Who you with, though? Huh? Which group you with, though? I mean, I feel the shit with all Hebrews as long as they want to be spiritual. You can't feel the shit with all of them. Because all of them get that spiritual. I said, that's why I didn't think. Right. I, I said, know. I feel the shit with all, and then if they walk in spirit and truth, I keep on feeling the shit with them. If they don't walk in the spirit and truth, then I don't feel the shit with them. But what group is like that here? Uh, Oh, Ohio Israelites, I know they straight. I mean, oh, Peraza? 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 Yeah, Peraza. Peraza, yeah, Peraza. Peraza knows no, Hebrew, but that's about it. Right. Hey, go to, you know my Revelation uh, uh, 13 and 9, 13 and, what's it, 13 and 15? You try trying to take over our camp. You know about that, huh? Revelation 13 and 15? Yeah, you got your Bible, get it out. Uh, nah, I just got, I just oh, got yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got two right now. Here, I'm going to get it. You know, because look, this scripture says, uh, we can't walk together, can two walk together unless they be agreed. So my and them, I'm going to tell you why we can't deal with those guys. As far as I know, they teach that uh, Edomites can be saved. They teach uh, that there's a such thing as the mythological hell. They teach uh, the virgin birth, they pretty much, it's crazy. It's Sabbath, Sunday, Friday, Sunday, and Saturday, so they teach that. All right, let me, let me ask you a question. Yeah. According to Leviticus 13, Verse 12 to 13. Right. This is in Leviticus, right? Yeah, leprosy law. But it shows that a white Israelite right. that's a clean cover, it's clean and safe. Right, but going back to Peraza, I know that. Okay. Well, you, I, well, I use that all the time. But Peraza, he would never get around to the fact that I asked him numerous times, can Edomites be saved? He said, if anybody believes they can be saved. I was like, that's not what I asked, bro. I was like, can Edomites be saved? And he wouldn't answer me. With Deuteronomy 23, verse 7 through 8, sir. That's not a poor Assyrian. 
You don't say Edomite. And you got the Hebrew, don't you? Don't say Edomite. When you do the search on it, you literally look that word up. It's, it looks like Syria. And the words are still almost very similar. To but Hebrew. actually, we get a chat. We don't got to go to that one because we can go to a chapter later. That's the one you got. To where go it said to. the Lord was going to blot out the remembrance of Amalek forever. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That was after that. I mean, Amalek is where, the enemy uh, of Abraham's uh, father from. He, all Esau yeah. is. But what I'm saying, not, but Esau. Esau is going to be destroyed. Abraham from, like, his father from Syria or something like that? That's what, what I said. Well, the, yeah, you know, the, the country was, uh, yeah, yeah that's Lot I, was from up there. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. They didn't say love and evil. And when you, you know what I mean? The, the apostle of Ryan Wild brought that down. Yeah. Because so there's some trickery in that scripture. Edomite right here, right? Let's get the word. Let's get the word. When you go into it and you do, you do some deep research on it. That's, that's translated to English. But let's look at the word, what it word means. Olive, dollar, you don't get it right there. That's That's what it says right there. It says Edomite. We know that. I'm going to show you why. Take a lot of study on that scripture. Hold on, I'm going to show you. But, you, but I, like I said, you can say it says that. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 7 and 8. That's verse 8. But like I said, you come a couple chapters later, and it tells you that Amalek's our enemy forever. You know what I mean? Alright, what about, so that's this, a, that's what about this scripture in Jeremiah 23? And all, all I mean Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 to 26. He compares Judah to Esau. No different than Esau. I mean, and he actually right. said Judah was one of brothers. Uncircumcised that far. I'm gonna right? say this though. Paul said, if it's all possible, we're gonna live with everybody peacefully. But it didn't say everybody's getting saved. That didn't say everybody's getting saved. So just uh, think about that. The Lord clearly said that the Israel is his chosen people. It clearly said that Esau sold his birthright. Paul clearly said that Esau is a profane person. Malachi said, uh, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know what I mean? All right, but also Israel needs to be upright for God, all right? Well, it really means he's a prince of God. When you talk about when you go from the Yid, it's the he, and it's the and the rest, he, he, Shars, prince. Says, prince, right, I got it. L He's a prince of the right. most high. But also, too, it has to do with what y'all start. Yeah, it means righteous or upright. Right, right. Yeah, upright to God. Yeah, because right. the prince is going to be upright and righteous. It's right. an Edomite, so and it says Syrian. You want Esau to be in this? No, no, I'm saying the scripture. I just said, right? No, that's not what it said. Hold up. You got to go with Listen, 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 listen. You're on the 20th verse 8. It says, do not hate Edomite. I said, you might not look at it. I'm sure you can say, do not hate it. All right? There is some trickery in that scripture, I'm telling you. When you look into it, look, it looks serious. We ain't went over this in a minute. Go ahead. Can you see that? It says it's Syrian. Yeah, it says you might it says Syrian. So what's that? It says it's too dark. But like I said, it still does not say that Esau is gonna be saved right there. Does it? Seven times and one time. Okay, when it, when it, says, when it says Lord, all capital, what does it really say? It says Lord, but what does it really say in Hebrew? What does it say? It's, it's, I thought you said Allah, Dalit, and No, 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 no. Tomorrow. When it says Lord, all capital, it applies. Oh, you're talking about Yerhe Wah? Yeah. So, what does it really say in Hebrew? Yahweh. Yeah, so, yeah. it's an example. It's the English Bible is fucked up pretty much. The other words you can say, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But the, apocry not, but the Apocrypha says that the Bible is for the just and the unjust, right? The unjust are Israelites. Yeah. Hey, what is the Apocrypha? They're not Edomites. Hey, get Apocrypha then. Get read this one. Second Ezra 6 This is Malachi nine, 3 bro. and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. No change. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. It's Malachi what? 3 and 6. What's that whole chapter talking about? Malachi 1 started off. talking about tithing. We go from right? precept to precept. We're talking about tithing. Here a little and there a little. That's how we win the world. Well, well Malachi, but what I'm saying is context. Malachi chapter 3 is talking about the, uh, to the uh, Levi's. He's going to send somebody that was a messenger to be found the Levi's. And they wasn't given a whole right change not. The point is he changed not. So. Right. Malachi 1 says that he hates Esau. It's not really different. He's built, but he'll throw down, bro. Right, 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 right. Like, 
good at lowers. It's but simple. If you it's see, easy. But, it's right. I mean, it's but simple. if you're talking to someone that sees in Deuteronomy 23, verse 7 through 8, that you're not supposed okay. to hate yourself. Right, look, look. God, God, give me another hate, scripture. On, let me ask you a question. If God hates somebody, if he tells you to love them, but he dislikes them or hates them for a certain Who's reason. Who's telling you to love them? Just because he hates them, does that mean that you're supposed to That's hate right. them? Yes, I got the That's scripture right. for you. That's right. Hold on. I got That's right. I got Psalm, Psalm, he said, bless your enemies, right? Who are your enemies, though? He said, bless your enemies. Yeah, but who are your enemies? Your enemies ain't Esau. The enemies are Edomites. I mean, or Israelites. Go ahead. Go ahead. He said, the Lord said, hey, he, 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 he's all right. This is 2 Chronicles 19 and 1. And Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, this is the righteous king, returned to his house in peace with Jerusalem. And Juhu, the son of Hanan, the seer or prophet, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that, Yahweh, uh, that, that hate Yahweh? Therefore is wrath upon you for being from Yahweh. So the Lord, he said, well, let me read it again. And love them that hate Yahweh. Do Edomites hate Yahweh? Yes, you know. Oh, man. Hey, look, I'm going to show you. Listen, listen, hold on, listen. Listen, 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 I'm going to tell you the truth. When I was locked up in the county, there was more so-called black African-Americans, Hebrews, that was unaware, that was denying the Messiah. Of course. The Bible. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. And the there was more Caucasian people at the table. We did two thirds. We did two thirds. Huh? We think two thirds. Let's let's stay in one point. Okay. All right. That's his question. The Lord said many are called, but few are chosen. You know what I mean? But when you read John one, it says his people, his own people, rejected him. Yeah, yeah. And they said we have no kings of Caesar. Jesus. Yeah, please read this again. Cause you gotta break. Crucify this. him. Crucify him. Yeah. They scream. You 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 break this down. Let me read it again. Right. Second Chronicles two, two, nineteen and two. And Johan, this now it, what, happens, what happens in the story? Joseph was king of Judah, right? And the other Joseph. king was Israel, right? There's two, the king of Israel got, yeah. yeah. The king of Israel was a wicked ass nigga, right? And King Joseph was righteous. Now he tried to help the king of Israel, but he did something wrong. This is what I'm coming to him said, he says, uh, should it not help the ungodly? Did not the Esau the ungodly in other nations? Yes or no? Okay, you can answer it later. Profane and person. love them that hate Yahweh. You can get Psalms 139. Oh, I already got it. Uh, therefore oh. is wrath upon thee from before Yahweh. So if you love Esau, the Lord gonna destroy you. Let me read this. That's because Look, that dude around. Right, but real quick. The tour, right? Yeah, but let me break something down. Like, that scripture, I believe the Lord even set that scripture up too. That's a stumbling block. But if you know the scriptures, look, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established, right? So, you want. Did that make Jezebel established? Well, listen, I'm going to show you something. We've given you multiple witnesses. Psalms 139 and uh, 21. Do I, not, do I not hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Am. And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. I mean, that, that's plain. You know that's I mean? council that's, that's, that's King David. That's King David. That's the house of, you know the house of David is? Who's speaking to David? King David smit every male in Edom. Who's King David? Who's King David? Oh, Most high uh, King, King you read the book of Psalms, right? King Azahiah was throwing Edomites off a cliff for fun. Yeah, right. The yeah. book of Psalms 137 says, happy shall he be. They're taking the Edomite babies and smash them against the stone. And then uh, then Saul did not kill all the Edomites. Yeah. And then Samuel and came and cut his ass up. Agag. Yeah. 